Welcome to the Toucan Talks podcast, where we bounce from topic to topic with our guests to give you an inside look at their life as a business owner. No question is off limits as we talk about what has led to the successes, the challenges, and more. And this podcast is brought to you by Kickstart Studios. Kickstart Studios is Wilmington's newest video podcast studio. Equipped with multiple camera angles and an in-house producer, creating a high-quality video podcast has never been easier. Don't let the tech and gear learning curve hold you back from jumping into podcasting or creating video content any longer. Our team takes care of it all for you so you can focus on the message you want to share. You simply show up, record, and receive the final product. No more wasting time setting up and breaking down the gear, setting up lights, or doing sound checks on your own. Our in-house producer will have everything set up and ready to go for you. So check us out at Kickstart Studios. Hi, Rachel. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Two Can Talks. Um, we're super excited to have you. Um, this is episode seven, um, and you and your husband own Social Coffee. So we're excited to talk coffee and wholesaling because you guys are jumping into that. Um, so what we're going to do is I'll let you introduce yourself a little more, um, and then I will explain how this lovely game works. All right. Well, yes, me and my husband Giovanni started Social Coffee back in early 2019, and we've now expanded to two locations. They both kind of bookend UNCW, one on Wrightsville Ave and one on Oriole Drive, and we've been roasting our own coffee for about two years now as well. And and like you already mentioned, we started jumping into wholesaling and trying to um, get our social coffee beans beyond our doors. Nice. I remember when you guys started roasting because before... Kickstart Collective was an agency, and we, me and Luke joked about how it should have been a nonprofit. Before that, we had an intern <laughs> program, and we would meet in the in the conference, conference room. room. Yeah, that's where we would meet because it was right beside UNCW, and it was perfect. And then one day, it was gone. It was, gone. and I was excited for you guys, but not for me because I was like, "Crap, where do we meet now?" <laughs> so they came to my house. <laughs> Well, that was nice. Yeah, it worked. Look at you. Yeah. So hospitable. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, no, we're excited to talk wholesaling and all the new fun things you guys are doing. But um, how this works is you will have these beautiful coins and you will drop them on the board. Um, occasionally they will fly off. So just watch out for that. It is okay. dangerous. Um, and if it lands on a one, then we have a can of business questions. And if it lands on a two, we have our two can that has what we call party questions. But some of them are more personal questions. Some are like a dare style questions. Okay. Um, we have a version of celebrities read mean, celebrities read mean tweets, but it's business owners read mean reviews. Um, oh no! So, <laughs> definitely gonna pick never that. Never know what you're gonna get. That's what's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is just let you drop the coin, and then I'll pull it and read it for you, um, and we'll go from there. Woohoo! Partay. Game show. Starting with a fun question. Do I do it or do I hand um, it to you? You can hand it to me. Ooh, okay. I'll read. I didn't for look. You. I didn't look. Okay. Okay, well, we're starting off with the dare. Um, switch, I told you. Yeah, switch phones and post on each other's Instagram stories. So for these purposes, I you can choose as our <laughs> lovely guest if you want us to post, me to post on your personal or your business. I'll give you our business one because it is a little less weird now that people kind of know. Kind of know what's happening. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's do the business one and just see what Giovanni says and how long it takes him to notice. <laughs> <Had> to delete it. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, uh, wow. That's a good smoothie that popped up for when I first opened it. Oh, I like it. So we can do whatever I want on here? Whatever you want. really going to mess with your social aesthetic. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait. Okay, I'm like learning how to spell the word toucan. Okay. <laughs> and I feel like Giovanni is such a good 
designer and brander person yes. that he might not love this. <laughs> he can take a laugh. That's good. I honestly, I say that I have only known him through no, you. I think I, I've met him in person like twice, but I feel like we're both a little maybe introverted and don't didn't really talk words to each other <laughs> yeah I oftentimes like will ask permission before I do stuff <laughs> like also <laughs> like I can do stories and he doesn't mind much about that because you know whenever I'm doing stuff it's always for a purpose of like yes. trivia nights or whatever but yeah. whenever I want to do a post he's pretty darn picky but that's why our social media looks great true it does look good not true not because you couldn't do a wonderful job no, but no it's pretty much saying. that yeah, 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 no, yeah it is there's a reason okay Started off with a fun one. That does look like a good smoothie. Doesn't it? Yeah. Are we looking at them now? Yeah, we can look. I'm going to say, I don't want to wait till after <laughs> this to find out what on earth you just did. Oh, yeah, we can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do, this is Rachel's on ours. Um, Toucan Talks, now sponsored by Diet Coke Addict. <laughs> Our girl likes Diet Coke. <laughs> And Laura went ahead and shared new cans. Who this? So <laughs> rated a PG thirteen. <laughs> All right, I like it. Fun times. It's always fun to start off with the fun and just jump right in. All right, and go again. Again, again, again. Yes, ma'am. Whoa! It really can go anywhere. It can. Part. But it doesn't. It just goes to the <laughs> It can, but it's going to just go there. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a big one. <laughs> um, Would you like to read the mean review or do you want me to read it to no, you? No, I'm definitely going to own it and do it. Okay. Um, okay. This was from, it's over a year ago and it is a one star. I will say you guys had like lots of reviews and there say, was only like two they're few and far between but when you know as a business owner when you get one yeah it had gum it it's like a no knife to what. the heart i know even when you read it and you're like this but i doesn't am, make any sense i am thankful i'll be i'm gonna laugh if i think oh yeah okay you, you i know this exact owner, review. you know the mean review like you know them mm -hmm. all right <sighs> okay I'm pretty sure this is the only coffee shop in town that doesn't actually have coffee brewed ready to go first thing in the morning. Eight in the morning, and they have zero coffee hot and ready. The girls working there said the owner would rather not brew coffee in the morning because nobody drinks it. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Who comes to the coffee shop for coffee? <laughs> not me. Literally. <laughs> you guys, I will say, would I read Would we this. have ever said that? <laughs> Would we have ever said nobody drinks it's coffee? coffee. I mean, sure, just was a ready one day, or I don't know what she was talking yeah. about. But and y'all's response online was very like polite and whatever. It was like we don't, you know, we get it ready, but we don't want it just sitting there stale for hours before somebody someone comes orders in and it. orders that. I know. Um, yes, people, we do so have since you ninety nine percent <laughs> really kind people. Oh yeah, so kind. Yes, um, I know it's always a fun. A fun question because I or pre because I have to go through and pick one for our lovely guest and torture them a little bit, um, and reading them and then like reading the responses. I'm like, oh, so sweet, <laughs> Oof. so sweet. Um, but no, I feel like the bad ones for everyone are always like mildly ridiculous. Well, I know, and it's also changed the way I view like when I do experience something when I'm out in yeah. an establishment. It's like I just go tell them and be like, yeah. hey, like this or that, because like as an owner, I would want to know. If yeah. someone was unhappy and try to like fix it. Yeah. Versus like putting it on just putting it on the internet. People just really love the internet. Yes. I will say we because we manage a few people's social media and it is always nice. Like someone will message and be like, hey, I didn't want to leave this as a review, but I just like wanted you guys to know X, Y, and Z. And then we pass that on to the business owner and they appreciate that because it's like, especially if it was something that like wasn't perfect, like they and they like would rather they it want, be perfect. Yeah. And they want to fix that with their employees, but like when it, you know, when someone makes a mistake or has a bad day and then that, you know, those rankings and those averages impact your Google. Shop. I will tell you so. one place that I experienced, um, it was a real bad night and we were at, a, I'll say the name of the place because <laughs> it's in so well. Yeah. It was just a bad night. We were at Pallet mm. um, down on uh, 4th Street and it was just like 
really weird and like we couldn't even get the drinks we were trying to get and like it was just and we had a reservation this is back we had to have reservations like at the end of covid COVID times anyways but they ended up i didn't even do anything about it i had i was whatever i moved on they actually called and said like we know you had they had my reservation info they're like we know y'all were here and that it probably wasn't a good time we were incredibly understaffed like it wasn't good please come back on us yeah i'm like Above and beyond. Above and beyond. That's awesome. So I speak so highly of them because yeah. it's just one of those situations where a bunch of people called and sit or whatever yeah. it is. Stuff you, you can't, can't control. Yeah, can't control that. Mm-hmm. No. That's super cool. All right. Let's Do go another again. One. Yeah. Another one. Okay. Let's see if you get a biz- I'm business I'm going to put question. it all the way over here and see if it still lands right over here. <laughs> no. Ooh. As far away as possible. Yeah. Okay. Business. Business. Okay. Are you more productive in the morning or the afternoon? Definitely a morning gal. Okay. Like I, as soon as I wake up, I kind of already have in my head like things that need to happen. Nice. So I'd much rather just get it all done. Yeah. Knock it all out. Do you, do you have like a system? Or are you just? No, not since I'm the primary caretaker of our daughter. So yeah. now I don't, I can't even work in the morning <laughs> if I wanted to. <laughs> That's fair. I feel that. <laughs> but it's like if I do have it, I do have days sometimes where like, my uh, mother-in-law will come watch or something nice. like that and I like leave first thing to like go crank yeah. stuff out so that my system is truly just like getting work done as quick as I can yeah <laughs> until she's gonna need me again <laughs> yeah no I feel that this morning Hazel decided not to take a nap oh fun and so as I was like trying to get her to nap I was like just standing in the kitchen like typing as fast as I can like just Angry waiting typing. to see if she's gonna fall asleep and she did it and I was like whatever we'll work this afternoon it's not gonna happen yeah. So honestly, it's turned me into a little bit of an evening person because mm. I actually, pre having kids, hate working in the evenings. Yeah. When that sun, I, I know it's summer, so now the sun isn't going down, but really once it hits 6 30, 7 o'clock, <laughs> my brain isn't doing nothing productive. Yeah. Like I'll tell you that right now. I am off the clock. Um, but now after having her, sometimes it's just like the fact that she's asleep already just like calms like my whole focus. sense of self. And I'm like, I can focus yeah. on what I need to do. I'm not worried about her waking up from a nap or like what yeah. have you. So it's turned me into a little bit of an evening gal. Yeah. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's see what happens. Bum, ba, bum. Ah! <laughs> All right. You did say that <laughs> might happen. I did. Well, yeah. we don't have a counter, but we'll count that as one. If you beat, I think three, Josh, is the record is what we're going with. Okay. Three is the record. And I want to beat the record. I don't think so. I can just chunk <laughs> it the other I way. Think, yeah. I mean, it's okay. just, we'll see what happens. I'm not trying to. Dun, dun, dun. Well, you are just a fun person. It's pretty much, pretty much you. No more mean reviews. <laughs> yeah, no. There's only one. There was. There's only one. Para. Yeah, there's only one bad review for social out yes. there, guys. No, I when I was looking through them, the other one was about like parking, and it's like, what you can't. Well, exactly. What my, you're gonna do about that? Before you read that, my least favorite thing is when the review says, "Great coffee, great staff, love the atmosphere." Four stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What? Like, why? <laughs> but why? What did we do wrong? <laughs> like, explain that. To yes. Me. Uh, we should do a whole separate segment on like how your as a consumer how your star numbers affect businesses on Google, literally, and on a personal level, <laughs> and their personal <laughs> mental health. Yes. <laughs> All right. Where is your favorite go to place for whatever? It can be food. It can be fun. I Can't be so coffee. M- I have so many. Okay. Just go for it. Um, if I'm having like a fun, more fancy dinner, like a birthday or like girls night out or something, rum cow. Okay. We went down. there for a team dinner and it was so good. It's so good. It's like a little bit, um, I guess like nicer dining. Yeah. But like the prices are still super yeah. reasonable. It was super so you're not like yeah. totally breaking the bank yeah. to have a more elevated fun night out. Yes. Um, for casual dining, Wrightsville Beach Brewery. We haven't been there in a while. It is just the food is so good. It's yeah. so easy for the kid, like kids, because yeah. like um, it's just already loud in there. Yeah. So when, so when <laughs> it doesn't matter when Willis are screaming, it's like literally no one looks. It's yeah. like really nice. Um, and then the outside, like they have a beer garden oh, yeah. area, so there's like yeah. enough space for kids to run around nice. and stuff. Um, I could go on and on about Wilmington local eats. I'm like the girl that people text like, where should I go to lunch? And I'm like, oh, I have so many ideas. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> I've been waiting for someone to ask. Can't wait. No, I feel like those are two good ones. Love it. Okay. We'll do um, this one and then we'll unload the board. Go okay. again. 
don't you knock my board on the floor? <laughs> I was going to say, how many people <laughs> knocked the whole board over? Okay, we're at two. Yeah, it's two. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. We're at three. But oh, I got it. Okay, you might get a bonus point. Imaginary okay. bonus point. It like, feels a lot safer, just like right yeah, just here. Just keep it, keep it safe. Oh, that was man. a close one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Biz. This is a biz question. Um, okay, so y'all started in 2019. You said yes. Okay, cool. So you had the one. This is just history of social coffee. I love this. You know what? What has led to those decisions to grow? Because y'all went from one, so, okay, you went from one location to roasting to a second location or yes. the second location? Yes, that's the correct order. And then wholesaling? Yes. Is there things I've, I'm sure there's things I've missed in there. Is that the, those are the, the big, big ones? Yes, for okay, sure. Cool. Has there been like the more specific question? Has there been like a common thing over the years where y'all are like, okay, now's the time to grow or add something? Or has it just been? Not random, but has there been like a common thing? I would, I mean, truly the reason that we like even started looking for a second location was parking, which is funny because you mentioned <laughs> yeah. that earlier because it was like, um, so there's an empty lot right next yeah. to the original social. It's owned by the hospital. We tried to buy it from them. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let it. We tried to rent it from, I mean, just like all the things yeah. and all of our customers just always parked there. Yeah. And that upset I've the hospital. There. And we were like, well, we've told our people that we don't own it, but like, it's up to y'all to like put a chain up yeah. or something. And then they finally put the chain. Mm. It was like years coming. Yeah. For like years, they didn't care. And then all of a sudden, they put it up one yeah. day, and we were like, well, we can't like serve as many people. Yeah. Um, with our small lot and without them letting us rent it or anything. Yeah. I'm sure it's just a bunch of red tape for them, and that's yeah. why. But that's a big reason we started hunting. Um, for our second location was just to spread out. And be able to serve more people. Yeah. Um, and then expanding into coffee roasting um, is one like the art of it is we're something we're really mm. interested in. Um, and then also just like a financial decision, just the buying roasted coffee already yeah. versus roasting your own. It's just like a huge difference, like financially. Yeah. Um, so we're like, oh, it's a great way to say. And then we knew if we do that, well, then we can eventually get into wholesale. Yeah. Um, cool. which is another just way to grow beyond yeah. like just our two tiny small town yeah. coffee shops. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Love it. Um, because both of them, both of the shops are in what used to be like residential, like houses, right? Yes, that's a fun yes, thing. They fun both little... were residential and then they were both commercial, random businesses. Okay. And then turned into coffee shops. Cool. And did y'all, I assume, at least I know the first one because I feel like I, or one of them I was following on, on social media had to like renovate both. Yeah, both, both were pretty, pretty big renovations. Um, the first one, we were actually supposed to open in 2018 and then we hit some snafus with the city of Wilmington. Mm -hmm. Um, we were literally like about to open within like Never a couple of that, weeks that happening before. <laughs> and then they were like, you can't do any of this. You're in some special Wrightsville corridor, whatever oh. that means. And so, and you're changing the use of the building, which triggers all the new codes. Mm. And then, so we had extreme makeover coffee shop edition. Yeah. Like <laughs> truly, oh <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> and it pushes back a bunch of them. Yeah. But, um, we learned a lot. Yeah. And then when we went hunting for our second location, we knew all you the knew. right questions. I mean, they were wrong and they even said they were wrong, which oh, they gosh. rarely do. Yeah. They rarely admit that they were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> they admitted they were wrong to us, but it doesn't change it anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it was, but we didn't like, we looked at plenty of other spaces for the second location and then just ended up finding that one and mm -hmm. it working out the best. Yeah. So the fact that it also was a home at yeah. one point was like, okay, I guess this, this is, is our brand. Cool. Yeah. I guess it's our thing. We That's didn't awesome. like a hundred percent mean for that to happen, yeah. but it honestly it ended up really going with our mission statement, which is like to love and serve others through coffee. And it's like, when you're in someone's home, you feel yeah. more loved than when you're not. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I didn't know if that was on purpose or not. So Fun. now I say it is. Yeah, it was. It was meant to be. Meant to be. We toured quite a few places actually yeah. for that second location, but we saw that one and we knew. We were yeah. like, this is it. That's cool. All right. We'll do another round and see where we hit time wise. One. All right. Um, how did you get into owning a coffee shop? I know. This coffee is the most asked question. Coffee Empire. 
Thank you. It's my most asked question of my life, actually. Really? Yeah, it's just like a, I think it's a fun, so it's yeah. an obvious get to know you question yes. when I meet people out and about. They're like, how'd you get into coffee? Um, so in college, I just, I've liked coffee since like high school. Mm-hmm. So then in college, we just spent a lot of time studying coffee shops. That's when me and Giovanni met yeah, cool. and started dating. And he didn't even like coffee back then, um, yeah. but he fell in love with coffee shops. Yes. He's okay. like, we're like, we had fun there. We could meet up there. Um, just community aspects yeah. of it all. Um, and then... Yeah, over time, um, before we even got married, he started dreaming up, like, owning one. Cool. And so it was, like, something that – because I went and did missions in Mexico for a mm-hmm. minute, and so, like, I kind of came back, and he, was, yeah. like, had this dream already. I was like, whoa. Like, <laughs> And I, separately from that, thought to myself, I wish I could just work at a coffee shop for the rest of my yeah. life. Wouldn't that be <laughs> so nice? Because, like, just making coffee, talking to people, yeah. I had that thought. And then we both – from there, once he kind of knew one day he wanted to – or we wanted to open one, we both worked in local coffee shops. Cool. So we kind of just learned the craft. He's the kind of person that can master anything. Mm -hmm. So YouTube books about coffee, like everything he's read and watched for sure. Um, I'm the opposite. I'm like the. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) He knows everything about the coffee. And I know quite a bit because obviously I was a barista for years. But like he knows he's way beyond my level of comprehension. Another academic level of of coffee. How did, when did he decide he liked coffee? Was it like. That's a great – I need to ask him that. Like, when did you actually start? So I think um, probably, like, through – at the end of college. Yeah. And then when he started working in a coffee shop. And then – because I think it takes – when you're talking about specialty coffee, it takes tasting a lot of different high-grade yeah. coffees. Because if you don't know, coffees are graded out of 1 to 100. And anything above 85 is considered specialty grade. Cool. So that's everything we roast at Social. Yeah. Most of what we're roasting at Social is, like, 87 to, like, 92 probably. Nice. Um so when you taste those, you can, mm-hmm. like, taste the nuances of each, like, different yeah. one and the region. So I think working in a local specialty coffee shop in Durham, he learned how to, like, taste for taste. those things. You then he was like, things you love. oh. Yeah. It's not all burnt. Yeah, I don't know who burns the coffee. I don't know coffee. why I whispered burnt, um, <laughs> burnt coffee. <laughs> yeah, Luke does not like – he says he doesn't like the taste of coffee. He doesn't really like the smell of coffee. But I was trying to explain to him. I was like, once you get, I guess I don't know that level of it, but once you get to like better coffees, it's almost like tasting like wine or like he really likes whiskey. Exactly like, like that. There's different like tasting notes. And like, I feel like one, he does not need more energy or caffeine. So it's probably not something I want to get him hooked on. But I was like, I feel like you could learn to appreciate it. Like if you tried, like actually tried different things that tasted better and different. Exactly. But, you know, he doesn't need that caffeine in his life. So that's what I tell some people. Like, if I meet them and I'm like, "Oh, I own a coffee shop," they're like, "Oh, I wish I liked coffee, but I don't." I was like, "You're, you're kind of better off. Like, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> like it's fine. <laughs> you can still come to social. We have muffins. Yes. We have tea. Like, we're good. Um, don't worry. I have other things that you can purchase from me. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> we got something. But yeah. most of us are well beyond being saved from our love of coffee. Yeah, and there's no going back. Yeah. No. Speaking of muffins, I guess it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Huck, our almost five year old, we were in the car. He goes, Mom, when are we going back to that place with the chocolate chip muffins? And I was like, uh, And like, I don't know. I mean, it's been months since he and I went and got this chocolate chip muffin. And I was like, trying to think, I was like, what is he talking about? And then I remembered, because we were, I don't know what road we were driving on, but it like has a similar feel to where y'all are. And I was like, oh, are you talking about the coffee shop that I went to? He's like, yeah, when are we going to get a chocolate chip muffin? And I was like, uh, we'll make it happen. So kid. when are you going? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's hilarious the things kids remember. I had a friend who has moved away, but they used to come to social like the first year we opened. And we used to get, we used to have like honey sticks for kids. Oh, yeah. Um, and like recent, so again, this is what, like a le- over three years ago. Mm. Recently, her kids were like, oh, mom, remember the honey sticks, that coffee <laughs> shop? <laughs> Like what? She texted me. She's like, my kids actually remember going to your coffee shop. That's and I was like, what? Making memories. <laughs> Making memories. The chocolate chip muffin was good, though. I ate the rest of his because he didn't finish it. Yeah, so if you hear you hear it here first, guys, we have good muffins. Good muffins. Four. I think you're winning. But, like, okay. I'm I think not... something about – it is, like, a little bowed right here. So it hits that seam and – you can just, just pick what you want. <laughs> I want this question. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So you guys 
at least from my experience, do have a really good like team and staff. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, yeah, they've always been so sweet. Even when my four year old is dropping muffin crumbs all over your floor. Um, so what is y'all's like hiring process? And I guess I'll prompt that with, I feel like most of people, most of the people watching this podcast are like other business owners. Yep. Um, so just from like finding people and retaining people that you like and just what is, what is that process? Yeah. Um, Let us know. <laughs> we were so blessed from the get go. Um, for a while it was just us and one barista oh, at the very beginning yeah. for months. Yeah. Just that working was, hard. It was a great time. It was a tough time, yes. <laughs> but she was awesome and just, couldn't have asked for a better like first employee and then we kind of added a couple more to it and then we just had this like like freaking amazing team like oh. and I, we didn't do anything special <laughs> to get them so like I know it had nothing to do with us yeah um so since then it's like almost been an intuition thing of like in the interview process which isn't like mm -hmm. helpful in terms of sharing this with other people but um <laughs> but I mean you gotta trust your gut like as you're yeah. interviewing them and the you just imagine the way are they gonna vibe with your team with mm -hmm. your culture like um and then nowadays, since we're so big and we have two locations and everything, it's like it's getting harder. And I'm yeah. noticing that like the longer obviously you're in business, the longer you're hiring people and employing people, you're eventually going to hit your duds yeah. or the ones that don't work out yeah. or the ones that like work fine. Yeah. But they're just not those rock stars yeah. like I mentioned because um, your business is your baby yeah. and it's hard to find other people that are going to treat your business like yeah. their own baby because yeah. it's not. Yeah. No one. Yeah. You and you essentially, we're, of course, like, hiring many college students, like younger kids just being, a, you know, yeah, um, coffee shop. So I don't know. It has a lot to do with trusting my gut, but now it has a lot to do with just finding the right, filling the right holes of availability, yeah. of True. skill set, yeah. um, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So now that's, we're kind of in that season where we've grown just enough where I'm learning that like, that's kind of what we're doing. It's like, well, we need someone. And like, this person seems pretty good. Yeah. A lot of referrals. Mm, that's good. Which, like other employees. Like, yeah, like our employees cool. being like, well, I have a friend who, you know, was working at this place, but is looking for something different. Yeah. And I, and like, because we do have people that we trust, those mean a lot. Yeah. Um. So any word of mouth referrals have actually gotten us a long way. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I feel like probably just like the general like culture and like the mission to probably attracts yes. people who would want to work with that and believe that which probably helps a little bit too I would assume mm -hmm. plus yeah. in the interview process depending on what kind of business you own what kind of people you're looking for like you have to talk to strangers all day long working yeah. at a coffee shop <laughs> and they're talking to a stranger with me in the interview yeah. or whoever's interviewing them and so just the way they do that yeah gives off a vibe mm -hmm. of like how's this gonna go for you yeah that's fair. um yeah that's so I enjoy kind of just playing with that and yeah. then seeing like I don't even do it that consciously I didn't even name it until just now yeah. but, um, that is what I'm doing yeah yeah that's cool Love it. All right. Let's see where we go. Hopefully on the board. On the board. Feeling good. Looking Woo. good. All right. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. What advice would you give a person either about to start a business or early on in their business ownership journey? Because it's all about the journey. It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey. Um... One thing that Giovanni has always said and often said, which I think can be overlooked sometimes, but it's just like write everything down, like mm. especially when you have ideas yeah. and um, vision for something, just write it down. Now there's the grander sense of like, of course, right, having your business plan and your yeah. foundation and all that. You're obviously writing all of that down, yeah. but like specifically maybe you're like in you're past the business planning stage and you're kind of in it and you're like, think of like a product you might want to add, but like you can't do that yet. You're still doing, mm -hmm. you know, all the building. It's like, yeah. we will write that down yeah. because like those kinds of ideas and sparks and passions are what are getting you into this business. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the administrative side of it can like bog you down yeah. and then it can kind of fizzle out some of the like creative ideas. So it's just, he's always been a writing stuff down kind of guy. And I've like cool. observed that in him and he said someone told him that one time. And so now I'm trying to get better at that myself. Yeah. Even when it's stuff for our family or anyway, yeah, that's like a good like jot it. thing. Just like jot stuff yeah. down when it comes into your brain because life comes at you hard and fast and you might forget it and it might be like a great idea. Yeah. That's a good one. Thanks. Sweet. All right. Okay, let's do this. Do it. To To can. To can talk. To can talk. <laughs> Two cans. <laughs> Okay, I think this is a good one for you. 
Um, what is your spiciest opinion that most people disagree with? So what's your hot take? <laughs> I have a lot. Um, <laughs> rattle them off. <laughs> rattle them off. No, I can't always think of them all. I know. You yeah. know, they come to you in the moment, but there is one. And the pioneer woman, I don't mm. trust her. Okay. She looks fishy to me. Okay. Um, all of a sudden she's everywhere. She's following you at Walmart. She's got all those things. <laughs> yeah. You're at the doctor's office way on your appointment. She's on that TV. Mm. And I just look at that. I don't, just don't trust her face. I don't think her hair's really red. Like, I don't oh. know. I just want everyone to reconsider. I don't even know her real name. I have no idea. Will you Google the pioneer woman, her real name? And I'm telling you right now, yeah. it's going to be a name that I don't trust. And what if it is one I trust so much? We'll see. Yeah, what if it's Rachel? What if it's Rachel? <laughs> I'm going to die if it's Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see i would love if it was my mom's name can't be paula because there's already paula dean unless that's why <laughs> literally she's going two by. cooks could not be named paula that's why she's going okay how do you spell re <laughs> that's not even a real name <laughs> that's pretty suspect re 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 <laughs> that's why she goes by the pioneer woman yeah Anyways, I don't know. This whole hot take came up when I was pre- – I literally never noticed the woman in my life. And then when I was pregnant and I had so many doctor's appointments. Yeah. And then I was like – so I saw her show kind of for the first time. Mm-hmm. And then I saw her like in Walmart, like I said. And then she was like at my nail salon. And I was just like – it was like when this hot take like totally yeah. grew and became a thing. So mm-hmm. I posted online and a lot of people were not okay with it. Oh, no. Yeah. And by a lot, I mean like the three people that responded. Yeah. They were not happy with you. <laughs> Everyone else was like, well, yeah, duh. I yeah. agree. And just kept swiping. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm. Well, we'll see if she watches this podcast. Three, I'm sorry. We'll tag you in it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum. Okay. What is your favorite thing that comes out of a can? Diet Coke. <laughs> I just took a big switch to my Diet Coke for all you listeners out there mm-hmm. who don't have time to watch stuff on YouTube. Yeah. They're just listening to the audio and they're like, what was that? <laughs> what Diet was Coke. that? <laughs> it was the beautiful, crisp sound of the sweet nectar Diet Coke. Love it. Um, it's pro- It's got to be so bad for me, but you just have a point in life when you just do not care. And that's where I'm at. You're right. You're there. I had a... Um, Olipop? Is that uh-huh. That's one a of thing. Those? I haven't tried them yet. Um, it was pretty good. I think, what was it? Cherry vanilla? I don't know. I think it was cherry vanilla. It was good. I was like, okay. Like, I could. Where'd you get it from? Where do they even sell these things? Um, they're on sale right now at Whole Foods. By the time this episode comes out, they are probably not on sale still, but today they are on but sale. But today. <laughs> today. Yeah, I gotta um, try one of those. I'm just buying, like, on the single. It was good. I don't know. I'm always down to try a new. Yeah. New, a new bevy. A new bevy. A new bevy. Laura knows I love a bevy. You love a bevy. All right. Let's see. I don't know where we are at time wise. Where are we at? All right. You want to drop like two more and then we'll close it up? I do. Let's see what happens. Drop it, drop it low, bro. Dag nab it. That's not what I meant by drop it. <laughs> I'm like, I swear, I'm doing it really normal. Like, I'm doing it so normal. Nothing about this podcast is normal, so maybe that's your problem. Hey, Laura, drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Has that ever happened? Um, it's gotten stuck, like, on a peg, but not just on the scene. It, it hovered on It the just board. hovered. It was like, what do you want from me? We want you to drop it. Okay. All right, so we started talking about this, but what led you guys to wholesaling? And then kind of from the business standpoint of all that, what's been like the biggest learning curve? Well, leading us to it was just, of course, just another like opportunity for stream of revenue, obviously. (laughs) Um, But then also then you get to roast more coffee and experiment mm-hmm. more and then have more people taste your coffee than walk into your doors. Yeah. So like it's kind of opportunity to serve even more people. Yeah. Um, and then the biggest learning curve so far has truly been like sales, I guess, because yeah. we don't, I mean, we sell like cups of coffee, but yeah. people walk into our doors already wanting it when they right? get there. So that really <laughs> helps. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're there for a reason. Um, and so just learning how to do that because I've never done mm-hmm. I was in I, wor- I was in the nonprofit world for a while yeah. and I was involved in donor management. So like I kind of had to like solicit donate. So like I've had a little bit yeah. working that muscle, but nothing like this. So yeah. I've never had to like 
um, the kind of cold calls, cold emails, mm-hmm. dropping samples off. Yep. Um, yeah. So I feel like we're learning a lot in that area of just like, how do you go about that? And yeah. how do you secure like wholesale accounts? I'm still wondering. I'm not really sure. But I think one of our future guests is has done a lot of wholesale. So I'll, I'll shoot you the link whenever that comes out. I'm very excited. Um, I think Luke's going to do that one. But that should be fun. Um, so you have coffee at Cole's custard right. Cole's custard yes. Wrightsville Beach they are awesome people that own that place so definitely go buy their custard but the espresso flavor is um made with our espresso beans that's awesome yeah so that's really exciting we have a potential partnership in the works with a brewery in town cool. so hoping to make a coffee beer we'll see that's not yeah. official yet um and then we've had some some little nibs nice. from some restaurants cool. but we would lo- we'd love to get into the restaurant like world especially yeah. like some um, diners like places serving cool. coffee in the morning yeah because I think it's fun to say that you serve like a lo- like a local diner yeah. serves a local yeah. coffee from the same town I think yeah really cool that's cool yeah I was about to ask if it was if y'all are going to try to do like collabs that whole sale route or if it was going to be like them serving straight up coffee so yeah that's you, cool all the whatever events. people want to do yeah. we're also um there's a coffee shop in town we're talking to about maybe just doing their cold brew for them cool um, so some places are interested in just cold brew, yeah. not necessarily whole bean. Um, so we're kind of open to anything and because cool. we're learning how it goes yeah. and we enjoy learning with other people. So yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's do one more and then we'll wrap it up with some. And on a fun one, on the board. On the board. Some, uh, hey. We'll see if it's a fun business question. Let's All business see. questions All are business. fun. All business questions are fun. Yeah. I'm just kidding. They are. <laughs> 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 so fun. Uh Okay, you touched on this, but talk about the mission of Social Coffee. I would love nothing more. Um, Yeah, so like I said, it's to love and serve others through coffee. And there's just – we notice a lot in the coffee world of either they're really casual places that Mm -hmm. don't have the best coffee. Yeah. Or they have the best coffee you've ever tasted, but you feel like if you spilled a cup of coffee, you'd be like banished or something. Like it's too trendy or fancy where you feel like you almost don't belong. It doesn't feel like home to you. So we're like, how can we have the best of both of these worlds? Like we want a place where people feel loved, like they belong, um, like it's theirs in a sense, but Mm -hmm. also like not forsake the quality of coffee we're serving. Um, So that's kind of what we do. And we do give back to a lot of nonprofits throughout the year. We kind of take opportunities to – do different like lots of different things um so we love to give back like locally and globally as much as we can um that's kind of what we're about cool yeah because you guys have are you still doing trivia is trivia still is yeah uh, so you have like yes. trivia you have market so you have like another like i feel like a layer of community yes. like local community on top of exactly like we are all about the community that's kind of where i thrive in terms of running the business like giovanni is kind of like managing shops and coffee and all that Mm -hmm. and i'm in charge of like um wholesale like account things but also like in charge of planning all the events and trivia nights are my jam yeah what's your favorite to host yes i was gonna say topic i don't know if that's true i really i have fun with most of them but friends is probably the one i know the best yeah but I know them all pretty darn good. <laughs> I only – I'm legit. I do not host trivia nights about things that I'm not obsessed with. Okay. So, like, when people ask me to do a Marvel, I'm like, I've seen them. I've seen the movies, but, like, I'm not your girl. Yeah. Because they'll sniff you out. Yeah. 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 They, we wanted to do one for May the 4th and do uh, Star Wars mm-hmm. one time, and I was like – and we did. We found people to do it, but I was cool. like, I will be asking these questions I Googled, and people will know. Yes. I'm not going to be trying to read those. Yeah, m- read those names, and it'll be like when you're reading like an Old Testament Bible story, and it's like, hem, hem, <laughs> hem, 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 drove the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Is that a ship? Like <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So people will ask me all the time, and I'm always open to people helping me plan them. But yes. I'm like, so anyways, all the ones I host, I truly am like obsessed with. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of fun. But we do a lot of like Office, Gilmore Girls. Parks and Rec, Friends. Oh, Parks and Rec. New Girl is always fire. Yes. It's fun. And yes. I'm actually working on a Disney Channel oh, trivia night. Oh, okay. So is it's gonna it like be... current or like our... Yes, it's, it's current <laughs> Disney It's Willow and her friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laura. It's about all the current Disney Channel shows I'm obsessed with. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> In a few years, I'm going to know yeah, them. Yeah, you will. I um, will. But no, it's, it's going to be... It's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, really? It's like a show. Yeah, it's Simba's son. <laughs> You're like, it's 
fire. It's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's gonna be like all like TV like shows Z-Noc, oh. and DCOMs, Disney mm. Channel original movies for those that yes. are less yes. fortunate. Yes. Okay, that'll be fun. Mm-hmm. I love it. I know. So that's the one I'm working on for um, July this year. Nice. <laughs> Did it already happen? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just like was thinking in my head, like I don't even know besides the one Lion King kid show on Disney right now, like what is even on? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> actually, I saw a commercial the other day when we were watching, or maybe I was just on Disney Plus. But um, there's a new Raven. No. It's like um, well, it's called like Raven's House or something. I okay. guess it's about her kids. Okay. And I was like, well, I'd watch that. Yeah. Or like they did the Fuller House a few years back. Mm-hmm. They did the Bo- Girl Meets World. Yeah. I did watch I'm like, oh, I watched yeah, that. I know, yeah. I and we watched the um <laughs> the nineties. That's the nineties. Yeah. I watched that yeah. too. I like didn't hate that actually. I was like, I didn't I could either. watch this. It was enjoyable. Yeah. It was low stakes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good little good little chuckle here and there. Exactly. Um, yeah, we had some other um party questions that were really gonna dive into your your pop culture side of your personality. It wasn't in the cards. Your, it was in the cards. So it wasn't a pop culture day, I guess, but out of you are like probably and definitely the top two of my like if I was had a pop culture question of people I would go to. Oh my so, gosh, thank you. Yeah, Please that's... call me, beat me if you want to reach me. And I'll answer any question you have. Cool. If it's specifically about what, naked mole rats, is that the is um, that impossible? Yes. Or, yes. yes. <laughs> I was like, the show was not called Naked Mole Rats. The show was called Impossible. I was just taking it down a deeper level. You're like, I yeah, should yeah. improve Listen, knowledge. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, we'll wrap it with some basic um, questions. What can people expect from you guys next? Hopefully, coffee beer. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, a coffee beer and hopefully seeing um, social coffee in other establishments. Yes. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Super exciting. Um, and then is there any final thought from like a business perspective, things you've learned doing social, doing business that you want to leave these lovely listeners with? Oh, lovely listeners. Lovely. Wish I could high five each of Watchers you. Watchers even. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we are on camera. <laughs> um, let me think. I, I guess in a way this is going to sound – trying to decide which way I want to say it um listen to people but also don't listen to people yeah (laughs) take it with a grain of salt be so (laughs) open to certain people like a certain smaller sect of people and like asking opinions and advice and especially like this includes like your team like as a business owner like listening to your team when they have thoughts or suggestions um listening to you know business mentors that have gone before you or even your customer base yeah but then also you can't just listen to them. Yeah. Those people. Um, yeah. Like you said, take it with a grain of salt and don't let, you know, people get you down because yeah. everyone thinks they know how to run your business better than you. They do. Um, which is Fun. tough, yeah. especially as a female entrepreneur. Yeah. That can be very tough. And that's a whole other subject. Yeah. That's a whole different episode. <laughs> that really is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that would be my thing is like definitely listen to people, but also don't. Yeah. No, yeah, I think like that's a good, a good little nugget, you know? truth bomb um and then what is the best way people can get in touch with you guys follow you social email love By it. social i mean social media social on social media that's exactly <laughs> right um so our instagram is social coffee supply cool and then that's also our website social coffee supply.com and then our email is hello at social coffee supply.com love it <laughs> so awesome. pretty easy and you can find most of those things just on our instagram cool. so Awesome. Well, thank you for coming in and doing this. Um, I think you beat our record for and going to jumping off the board, but that's okay. We'll it's not a hard record to beat. <laughs> like it was just flying off. Yeah, it was just it was excited. I'm gonna have to call in the time. Qu- I'm gonna have to call into question the integrity of the making of this board. Um, you definitely should because who is that at Luke? Who is it at? No, that's at Target.com. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Leave a review. My <laughs> toucan board. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Um, no, the target, you know, mass produces said boards. Um, you, maybe eventually it was like 20 bucks. You can like do it off Etsy and it's handmade and mm-hmm. like fancy. Well, that was going to be like 200 bucks. So I was like, let's see no, how, forget this, that. Let's see how this, this podcast goes, um, before we invest in a, <laughs> in a fancy and, board and it's going great. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's going great, but they have a um, plexiglass on the front. So I don't even think there's, you know, they just uh, have like a safety barrier. Yeah. 
It's a okay. Target.com review. Yeah. Y'all made me look real dumb on a podcast. <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> One star. <laughs> Man. Well, again, thank you. This is fun. And we will have to hit you up for a chocolate chip muffin soon. Oh, my goodness. actually hang out in real life. Yes. yes. Deal? It's recorded. Yes. It is, yes. It's recorded that, we, that we would do that. Re- being recorded and the general public can hold us accountable. Very so. excited. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course.